Before I begin, I just want to say that what we're trying to learn are generalities. We're going to learn the rules and not the exceptions. As you go through uh, the video, uh, there will absolutely be different times when you're going to say, hey, what about this disease? How about that disease? Sure. Uh, there are always exceptions and you know, uh, th th that's what you learn during your uh, residency and beyond. But where you guys are starting out, you want to learn the general rules. And then you can build on and learn the exceptions. This video is on muscle disorders. So what is a muscle disorder called? It's called a myopathy. The next big question would be, how do you categorize muscle disorders? There are many different ways, and um, you'll find your own way, but uh, one way to do it would be based on etiology. So one bucket would be inflammatory such as polymyositis or dermatomyositis. Another would be medication-induced, such as statins or steroids, to name a couple. And a big category would be congenital or inherited myopathies. So pause the video just for a second and think about what is a inherited or congenital myopathy called? And a lot of students are surprised by this answer. Um, but a muscular dystrophy is nothing more than an inherited or congenital myopathy. Some examples of muscular dystrophies that you should be aware of would be Duchenne's or Becker's or limb girdle muscular dystrophy. So now, what are the hallmark features of a myopathy? And when I say hallmark, it can't really be caused by anything else. So if you just tell me weakness, well, a stroke can cause weakness, a neuropathy can cause weakness, not just a myopathy. If you say um, bilateral, well, then uh, so could a spinal cord lesion. So could um, a neuropathy cause bilateral weakness. So I want you to tell me very specific words, which are very descriptive of the signs and symptoms of a myopathy, and they're the hallmark signs and symptoms of a myopathy. So pause this video just for a second, think about that, and resume. So the hallmark signs and symptoms of a myopathy are bilateral, proximal, symmetrical weakness. So there are some exceptions to the rule, um, but this is the most uh, important generality you should remember. And one of the more important exceptions uh, would be myotonic dystrophy, which is an inherited myopathy, and that usually causes distal weakness. Another exception to the rule would be inclusion body myositis, which causes bilateral proximal leg weakness, but bilateral arm and leg distal weakness. So there you go. That's a quick summary of a myopathy. Now we're going to go on to the neuromuscular junction. Before you start the next video, think about the hallmark signs and symptoms of an NMJ disorder. And just for simplicity's sake, think about myasthenia gravis as the prototypical uh, disorder. Uh, and if you understand myasthenia gravis, then everything else falls into place. See you on the next video.